Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zonky, and welcome to my new 1 to 99 prayer guide. So, we are going to be going over a lot of things in this guide. So, as with most guides, there are skip links in the description to go ahead and go to the parts that are interesting to you. So, I'll mostly be going over some helpful boosts that can help you out with your prayer training, as well as the common methods of training prayer and a few alternative methods that might help you save a little bit of time or money getting to 99 or 120 prayer in the long run. So, of course, the first thing that we're going to be looking at here is the helpful boosting items that can boost your prayer XP. First of all is the first stage outfit, and unfortunately, this outfit is only available off of Treasure Hunter, so it's going to depend on your luck whether you get this outfit or not. I personally only managed to get three out of the five pieces, but if you get all five of the first stage pieces, it will boost your prayer XP by 5% when worn, so make sure you have those equipped while training prayer at all times. Second off is the Juju Prayer Potions, the perfect ones. These are tradable off the Grand Exchange, so you can buy them. They're expensive potions, but you know what else is expensive? Training Prayer is expensive. So you want to be using these at all times when training prayer, and they boost the experience by 5% when used at the Heffen Monastery. I'll get into that later if you don't know what that is, as well as all bones used on a Gilded Altar. So if you're training with one of those two methods, make sure you bring your perfect Juju Prayers. Third is the clan avatar, so if you are running bones, you'll most likely have a beast of burden out, but if you are in a clan, make sure the avatar is on your world, so that you get at least the 3% extra experience boost. And finally, there are three prayer ores that can boost your experience. They are called Harmony, Salvation, and Corruption, and these ores will boost your prayer XP by 2.5%, and they last an hour. So unfortunately, they're not going to be active if you're training prayer for long periods of time, but if you train your prayer in stages, such as while the Heffen Voice of Saren is active, it works really well with that. You can have that aura active and get a little bit of extra prayer XP along with it. So by far the most common method of training prayer is with using a Gilded Altar, which makes sense because there aren't too many requirements for doing this. One thing to keep in mind is you can use other people's Gilded Altar, but I would really recommend to get your own because it is quite a bit faster teleporting to your own house and it just speeds things up quite a bit. So what you need to make a Gilded Altar is you need 75 construction and that is boostable so you can use a combination of the teas that you can make in your play around house kitchen to boost your construction and also the crystal saw to boost up to 75 and then you can make that gilded altar. You also need to put down some incense burners. It does not matter what type of incense burners they are, they just have to be incense burners and not torches. So make sure you have burners that you can use clean marintils on and you wanna bring two clean marintils every single time you make a trip to your house and then you light both of the burners and start to use the bones on your altar. So you will want to have a beast of burden out filled with dragon bones or whatever types of bones that you happen to be using, and we will be going over what types of bones might be the most beneficial for you to use, but it's really, really simple, and you just want to withdraw the bones from your familiar when your inventory is about to empty, and you'll continue using all the bones until you're all out of them, and then you bank and teleport right back to your house. Very, very simple method of training prayer, and that's about all there is to it. Just make sure that you're wearing your prayer suit if you have it, and you have your Juju Prayer Potions active as well. Now let's look at some of the most commonly used bones on a Gilded Altar. And typically, but not always, how it works is the more GP per XP it costs to use a bone, the more experience per hour it's going to give. So first of all is the Infernal Ashes, about 320k XP per hour, then Dragon Bones, Air Bones, Frost Bones, and they progressively get faster and faster. Now all of these experience rates are considering that you do have Juju Prayers active, but they do not consider the First Age Prayer Outfit or the Clan Avatar, because I do realize that not everyone was lucky enough to get the First Age Outfit off of Treasure Hunter, and not everyone is in a clan or has access to their Clan Avatar, and that's completely fine, but those, of course, will provide additional XP. So if you want to know how much it's going to cost to use each of these types of bones, because prices are always changing, down in the description of this video, I'll have a link to a calculator that will tell you at the current prices, how much each of these costs. So make sure to check that out and then make a decision what type of bone that you want to use, depending on how much you're willing to spend. But of course, the more you spend, the quicker that you'll get prayer done with. So this next method we're going to be checking out is becoming an increasingly popular way of training prayer. And it's not because it's great XP because it's comparable XP to Dragon Bones. And it's not because it's cheap because it's not if you want to compare it to a similar speed method, Dragon Bones, the bones are cheaper to use. However, it's extremely, extremely AFK. You get two minutes per cleansing stone that you use on the massive corrupted stone. So you only have to click once every two minutes, which is very, very nice. And of course, you do have to have the quest Plague Zen completed in order to access this area. 
However, if you do have it accessed, it's about 304k an hour without the voice of Saren, or about 370k an hour with the voice of Saren. That is taking into account the Juju Prayer Potions, and it's not taking into account the other stuff, just like I did with the Bones. So it's a little bit faster than Dragon Bones with the Voice of Saren, a little bit slower without. If you want to just do this method with the Voice of Saren, it's only slightly more expensive than using Dragon Bones or Infernal Ashes, but of course extremely, extremely AFK. So I was down for that. This is what I did for 120 Prayer personally, loved every second of it, but you will be paying a little bit more money than using a Gilded Altar, so... That's completely up to you, but this is a very great method if you decide that the extra money in order to train here is worth it to you. Now it's time to look at a few alternative methods to training prayer that can be significantly cheaper, but they also have their downsides being that they're not nearly as good prayer experience per hour, but these still might be very helpful for you. The first thing here is the infernal urns, and the main reason you might want to use infernal urns is if you're doing slayer tasks. When I do Slayer tasks, I always bring these Infernal Urns to things like Abyssal Demons or Black Demons, monsters that drop Infernal Ashes, and they really, really help. It only takes 25 kills of something that drops Infernal Ashes to fill up one of these urns, and then you can teleport it away for almost 1.9k prayer XP. So if you do a task of Abbey Demons, that can be over 20k prayer XP just for doing that task, and if you do a lot of these, it can really, really add up over time. So you need 62 crafting in order to make Infernal Urns. You can buy them off of the Grand Exchange and then just use Air Runes on the unfinished urns. And then you just have them in your inventory while you're killing stuff that drops Infernal Ashes. And there you go. Prayer XP with hardly any cost at all. And you don't have to have the irritation of either leaving the ashes on the ground or having to pick them up. Two very great things to avoid. But anyway, always make sure that you bring Infernal Urns on these tasks if you do want to have a little bit of extra, nearly free prayer XP for just doing your Slayer. This next method up is killing Frost Dragons, and I first of all will admit that this method is mostly used by Iron Men, who don't have a whole lot of other great training methods available to them. However, there's no law against main accounts using it too, so if you are just looking to train one of your melee combat skills, or even range or mage because you can use higher tier weapons against the Frost Dragons, what you can do is you can equip a Dragon Rider necklace and have a Bone Crusher in your inventory, and what will happen is every single time you kill a frost dragon, it will automatically bury the bones, and you'll get double the prayer XP that you normally would because you have the Dragon Rider necklace equipped. So you do need 85 Dungeoneering in order to access the resource dungeon, and you also need the quest one of a kind, which is a Grand Master quest completed in order to gain access to the Dragon Rider necklace. So you get 371 prayer XP every single time you kill a frost dragon. So if you're just looking for a great place to train your melee stats, this is one of the fastest melee XP rates in the entire game, and you'll gain a little bit of extra prayer XP along with it if you just want to get those melee stats as, up as fast as possible and you do not want to waste a whole bunch of time running around picking up bones, you'll get prayer XP while you're at it as well. So this is one method to look into, especially if you are in an Iron Man account, it's really, really good for them. The final thing to go over is using the Prayer Brawling Gloves, and this is the fastest prayer training method in the entire game. However, the only problem with it is getting Prayer Brawling Gloves is a rather rare drop, and it depends a lot on luck. However, if you do have the Prayer Brawling Gloves and you want to make good use out of them to gain some prayer XP, I do have a video on that. Unfortunately, I can't show it off in the live game right now because I don't have any more Prayer Brawling Gloves. I used up the only pairs I got months and months ago but I did make a video on it when I had them, so go ahead and check that out if you want to know how to use Prayer Brawling Gloves, if you manage to be lucky enough to get one as a drop, because they're probably the best Brawling Gloves in the entire game with how much time and money they can save you. So go ahead and click on the link on the screen or in the description if you're on mobile to find out how to use those effectively. So the final tips that I can give you with Prayer is, one is this Distraction Diversion itself, which is called God Statues. You can do it once per month, and every single time that you can do it, you can select to gain some prayer XP, and it's a pretty minimal amount of prayer XP, but that's one thing that you can do for just a small boost. Also, make sure that you're using stuff like your Bone Crusher every time you're slain. We already went over the Infernal Urns. The Bone Crusher gives you much less XP than the Urns do, but it still does build up over time if you use it with a lot of Slayer tasks. Stuff like that, and you'll eventually get there. Also, Lamps, rewards from other distractions versions can always be put on prayer if you want. Anyway, that's all for this guide. If you have any interest in any other 1 to 99 guides, I'll have a link on screen in the description for a playlist for every skill guide in game. Feel free to check that out. Other than that, that's all for me. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Farewell.